In this episode, we're going to teach you how to know what speed limit you're currently in and how to judge what speed to do. We're currently on a dual carriageway, there are no signs or street lamps, and we're driving a car, not with a trailer or a caravan or a bus or a lorry or a motorbike, we're driving a car. So on the dual carriageway, that is 70 miles per hour, and as now it, we're on a single carriageway, that has dropped to 60 miles per hour, but it's still national speed limit. There are a few street lamps here that would normally indicate 30, but because they're not regular, as you will find out after the roundabout, and that's why the street lamps are there, to just light up the roundabout, after the last street lamp on the left, there are no signs or street lamps, so the speed limit is 60 for a car. It's a single carriageway, and it's 60. We're now going to enter a wormhole speed up time, but not our speed in real time. So, we're now entering a 50. There are two large 50 signs on either side of the road. This indicates a change in speed limit. As we drive up the hill and enter around the bend, there's a car emerging on the left, and you will find a small 50 sign on the left, indicating that we are currently in a 50. So, we're driving up the road in a 50 limit, going up a hill on a bend, so we're not going to drive at 50, it's not safe. But there are two large signs approaching. They're telling us it's changing down to 40. That's because they're large signs on either side of the road opposite each other. We're continuing up the hill, there are hazard lines in the middle of the road. We know we're in a 40 because there'll be regular small signs telling us. Even though there are street lamps, the signs are on the street lamps. That's an old car. Don't worry, we're not stuck in time. 1943, we're in 2011, just because it's black and white. Again, there are street lamps, but on the street lamps, there are reminder signs telling us it's 40. Only when the street lamps are naked, in other words, there are no signs on them, and only street lamps, is it 30. Residential area is a clue that it's a 30. But as we've just been through a residential area that is 40, hopefully you will appreciate that it can be different. So we now have two 30 signs on either side of the road, so we are now in a 30 zone. So this bit of the video is dedicated to my father. He has a big issue with speed cameras, even though they tell you that there is a speed camera coming up and that it's a 30 limit. Not only that, but they paint the speed cameras bright yellow. They're quite easy to spot. So Dad, this one goes out to you. Speed cameras are easy to see. So are the signs just before them. And even before that, there were two big 30 signs. Keep your eyes out. Get your eyes tested. You should be fine. We're entering a wormhole again. People are walking very fast in this wormhole. And we're going to continue up the road up to the Burger King roundabout. And we're going to slow down. Because roundabouts are important. We're coming up to a change. It's a 40 limit two large signs. Then, at the roundabout, we're going to use the middle lane, and on the roundabout, keep to the left. We check our left mirror, signal left, and two more speed limit signs. We're coming back to a 30. Two large 30 signs. Another mini roundabout. Still in second gear, looking to the right. It's safe, continue, watch out for the cyclist on the left. Two or three pedestrians up the road on the left, park car, and a 20 sign and it says 20 on the floor. 20 is quite slow. Now, there is a bit of a problem with 20s. There are still regular street lamps, but heavy levels of traffic calming. Because it's a 20 zone, it's 20 until you're told otherwise. 